Syria is now undoubtedly the most serious crisis facing the international community, facing the Syrian people in the first place, and uh, the region and the rest of the world. And uh, these last few days, uh, developments have uh, been even more dramatic with uh, what has uh, happened on the 21st of uh, August last week. Um, it does seem that uh, some kind of substance was used uh, that killed a lot of people. Hundreds, definitely more than hundreds. Some people say 300, some people say 600, maybe 1,000, maybe more than 1,000 people. Uh, this is, of course, unacceptable. This is outrageous. Uh, this confirms uh, how dangerous the situation in Syria is. I know that the Americans and the British and others say that they know that uh, chemical weapons have been used. Uh, what we have been told is that uh, this evidence that the Americans, the British, the French say they have is going to be shared with us. It hasn't been until now. Uh, and we will be very, very, very interested in, in hearing from them what this evidence they have is. Uh, international law says that uh, military action must be taken after uh, a decision by the Security Council. That is what the, what, that's what international law says. Uh, what will happen there again, I, I, I don't know. I, I think I must say uh, that I, I do know that this, uh, the President Obama and the American administration are not known to be trigger happy. Uh, what they will decide, I don't know. I mean, I don't think there are many people who consider that it is, uh, that it, if, if they are responsible for what has happened on the first, 21st of August, I don't think you'll find many people who, who think that this is the first outrageous thing that has been done by this regime. I am against, by principle, against, uh, uh, you know, there is, a, there is enough killing that has taken place in, in Syria. You don't want more killing. You want, uh, you want this killing to end. So I am against military interventions by principle. Uh, but what will happen, uh, uh, you know, is, is um, you know, we'll see what, what will happen. Who has the right to punish uh, Bashar al-Assad or anybody else and hasn't the right to do that? All these questions, I'm sure you will be discussing them in your newspapers and uh, television stations.